two satellites were stranded in space, off course, tumbling and with no fuel to fix themselves, most space agencies would consider them lost. But Chinese engineers pulled off an extraordinary rescue using nothing but gravity, no engines, no second chances, just 123 days of cosmic choreography. In this video we explore how they did it, and why it's a game changer for space missions. On March 15, 2025, China launched two satellites, DROA and DROB, aboard a Long March 2C rocket. Their mission joined DROL in high orbit to form a navigation constellation vital to China's lunar ambitions. The trio would provide fast autonomous navigation support for future lunar missions, including the planned International Lunar Research Station. But the launch went wrong. While the rocket's first stages performed normally, the upper stage malfunctioned. As a result, DROA and DROB were released into much lower orbits, far from where they needed to be, and both began spinning uncontrollably. Unable to stabilize or fully power themselves, they faced a rapid descent back to Earth. With years of planning at risk, China's Technology and Engineering Center for Space Utilization jumped into action. One team worked on stabilizing the satellites with minimal fuel. The other, led by researcher Zhang Hao, began plotting an ambitious course correction using no propulsion at all, just gravity. Gravitational slingshots, used famously by missions like Voyager and Cassini, rely on the pull of celestial bodies to change a spacecraft's speed and direction without using fuel. But this technique had never been used to recover low-Earth orbit satellites, until now. Once DRO A and DRO B were stabilized, CSU's team developed a plan to gradually raise their orbits over 123 days, using gravity assists from the Earth, Moon, and even the Sun. The goal was to increase their apogee, the highest point in their orbit, bit by bit. Over a journey of 8.5 million kilometers, the satellites underwent a series of tiny, precisely timed nudges. Some involved brief thrusts, others depended entirely on gravitational forces. These weren't dramatic maneuvers, they were delicate, calculated, and required near-perfect timing. By exploiting the moon's gravity and accounting for the sun's distant pull, the satellites slowly climbed back toward their intended orbits. Like navigating a sailboat across a shifting sea, the team had to anticipate every current and breeze of space. Eventually, both satellites achieved orbital alignment with DROL. The trio was finally in place, ready to function as China's first navigation network in cislunar space. A rescue that once seemed impossible had succeeded, without burning critical fuel reserves. With the DRO constellation fully operational, China now has a high-precision satellite navigation system tailored for the Earth-Moon environment. Previously, locating spacecraft near the Moon could take up to three days, and required heavy reliance on ground stations. Now, with these satellites in place that process takes as little as three hours, a dramatic 90% reduction in response time. This shift is vital for China's lunar exploration goals. As the ILRS project gears up for construction and future crewed missions, rapid and autonomous navigation will be essential. Whether docking modules, landing probes, or rerouting missions in real time, this system can support smarter, faster, and more independent operations in deep space. Beyond immediate functionality, this mission reflects a broader evolution in how space infrastructure is designed. In an increasingly crowded and high-stakes orbital environment, missions must be resilient. Rather than depending on perfect execution, they must be adaptable, even recoverable. China's use of gravity as a rescue tool introduces new possibilities for spacecraft autonomy and failure recovery, aligning with future systems that include artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, and self-correcting networks. The recovery of DROA and DROB wasn't just a clever fix, it was a paradigm shift. By turning a failed launch into a stunning recovery, China showcased how precision, patience, and a deep understanding of physics can solve even the most daunting problems in space. This mission has redefined what's possible for satellite rescue, navigation, and orbital resilience. It proves that when all else fails the universe itself, if used wisely, can lend a hand. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story of cosmic ingenuity, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.